What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back to more diecast, and today we have three new for 2023 Hot Wheels 5-packs. So I really like 5-packs, I like the variety of cars, the colors, everything about them just really pops and makes me want to buy them, especially when they have rad cars in them like these. So uh, we have the Hot Wheels Circle Track, the Batman 5-pack, and the Hot Wheels City 5-pack. So um, one thing I like about 5-packs not only the variety, the color, everything else, is that usually if you go into a store like a Target or Walmart or whatever, and they're sold out of main lines, you can still find five packs. Largely because some of them have a ton of fantasy castings in them, like the city, but I really like fantasy castings, and the blend of both can be a really good combination. Just like this Hot Wheels Circle track, you have leeway, and then you have the fast gasser up here. Also, you have three license casting, a Mustang, a Grand National, and a Camaro. They all represent a little piece of circle track, a life in real life that you'd see at a small town circle track, which I really like. The Batman five pack, just awesome in general. The 66 Batmobile, I love that casting. The Bat, which is a good casting. The 49 Mercury, and an awesome Batgirl uh, livery. You have a new style Gotham City police car. You have the Hot Wheels original casting muscle bound with the with like the Robin, and I think that's actually a pretty good paint job. Um, and then you have the City, with which this is more of the fantasy that goes along with the very uh fantasy play sets that hot wheels has been putting out it's odd that matchbox has taken over the more realistic play sets in terms of their action driver sets which i've covered at length on this channel so if you're looking for those definitely check out the uh, links in the description um but these go very well with like hot wheels um make-believe town so while some of them are made after real cars, there are a lot of fantasy. So like the shark with the moving mouth. Um, this is cool because I really like the circle trucker uh, because it's like a stock car truck. Um, the train, I can't remember what that one's called, but that one's kind of realistic, but it's like a toy version. The Gazalia GT, which is a taxi, which would never be used for a taxi in real life. And then like the little hovercraft car. So these make great like play uh, play sets like to play with in your actual like die cast town but these two can go more of to like the realistic side so, so there's something for everyone in five packs and that's what i really appreciate about them so let's go ahead and bust some of these open let's go ahead and do um i will save the batman one for last because that's probably my favorite one but let's go ahead and open the city one now the reason i said i bought this one is because i really like the circle trucker and usually in five packs you don't get these paint jobs anywhere else like they're usually exclusive to the five packs now there are some um exceptions to that just like the fast and the furious ones those usually come out um in the walmart sets or in different sets like that so those are kind of repeats but usually like these will probably not be sold in the main line um that one could i think the 66 batmobile might but the rest probably will not so it's cool to get uh many exclusive sets like these five packs and i'm totally destroying this uh, all right let's go ahead and take a look Whoop. but yeah i do like the exclusive colors that the five packs offer too so okay i'm gonna flip this over so i can actually read the name so i don't forget okay the first one the hover storm i'll go through these fast since i know um a lot of these are old none of these are new so you've probably seen them before but the um the hover storm here it is like a mix of hovercraft and car because it does have wheels so if you have i mean this could actually be like i've seen cars like this semi like this in real life but they're actually not hovercraft usually there's some kind of like almost like a wave runner that have wheels like i've seen them at disney at what is that restaurant i can't remember what it's called boathouse i love that restaurant too where they launch the info cars they have like a rescue atv like water tv i guess i don't even know what they're called that like the wheels fold up and then they go out and rescue like the info cars that get stranded um but then the wheels come back down and they drive it up the ramp which is cool but this is like hot wheels version of that with the hovercraft so it has a giant what is that a v10 at least um, the design is very fantasy, uh, so I won't spend too much time on it. But if you like hovercrafts or or like playing with your cars, this is a fun one to play with because it can go on land and water. So next up is a Gazalia GT. This is a fantasy casting that's like, it almost reminds me of like a speed racer car or something from the future. Like it has an awesome like clear roof like look at the luggage in the back even with like little hold downs you get a lot of detail in fantasy castings like even like the little um window detailing inside there you can see the whole dash it looks very like futuristic 
The body itself is plastic, which I know a lot of people don't like the plastic bodied cars. I don't mind them, especially on fantasies because they're meant to be played with. But some of the metal bottom cars like this do really well on downhill racing. So if you are a fan of racing Hot Wheels, check out the fantasy castings because there are a lot of good ones because of the metal base. So next up, the local Motorin. Um, this is not a, a favorite fantasy casting of mine. It is cool just because I think they did a good job adapting the train to it. Um, but I also liked the train back in the day. I think it was, I can't remember what it's called right now. I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but the train looked pretty good. And to me, it was a better train than this version. This one was created to put like the Thomas face in there. The other one was actually made to look like a hot rod train. And it reminded me of the Back to the Future train, uh, Back to the Future 3 train because it was black and it just kind of had that same style. So this one is a little train car. It, it is what it is. You like it or you don't. My favorite one from here, the Circle Trucker. I really like this because it is a circle track truck. It looks like a stock car truck or like a truck series NASCAR um, that you'd see. You got the full window net. You got the hood scoop. Um, you got the hood pins. You got the little antenna up top what are supposed to be like the roll bars coming out of the back of the window. You have the spoiler supports. It's really a good looking casting. And I like the paint job on it. It says Hot Wheels Delivery because this is like in your fantasy town, you can deliver whatever you want in your NASCAR truck in the street, which is awesome. So I really, really like that one. That one's my favorite out of this pack. And lastly, the Shark Bite. This is the probably the most fantasy one of them all. But I grew up when I was little, I had the, uh, I can't remember what the name of it is, the Shark, the other Shark car. Um, that was like a longer body in gray. And that one was everywhere when I was a kid and growing up. Um, but this is Hot Wheels' newer version of it. And it is equipped with one of the, uh, I guess it would call like the moving parts wheel. So when you do this, it clicks the jaw right there, if you can see that, which is kind of cool. So the jaw moves up and down when you roll it. Whoop. Or it's supposed to. Let's see if I can get it to do it here. Which is not too bad. So they do add a moving part, even though it is a fantasy, but it's a cool fantasy. So there is that one. So we got the fantasy ones out of the way because I know you guys probably aren't super fans of that one. But let's go to the circle track one. So this is cool. Um, I like oval racing. I like dirt racing. I like NASCAR racing. Any kind of racing I really like, but these kind of hit home because of their circle track. They're basically like small town track cars rather than like, you know, IMSA cars or Lamaze cars or anything like that. It, it kind of hits home for the average uh, working American race racing series. Why? Do, I don't know why I have such a hard time getting these open a lot of times. Come on. Doo -doo. Boom. Okay. Nice. Look at that. All right. Let me put this over here. Look at this art too, by the way. That is killer. So rad, okay. So first up we have the Camaro Z28 and this is an old casting. This came out a long time ago, like probably in the mid eighties, late eighties. I don't know, does it even say? Let's see. Yeah, it says 1982 was when this was originally cast. So this has been in the main line for a longer than I've been alive. So that is, I mean, it's cool. It has that very, uh, I mean, for how old it is, they've done well. Like it's kept up the style very well. Like if you would have told me this is a, what, almost 40 year old casting, over 40 year old casting or around it, I wouldn't believe you because it looks pretty good. Um, they did a nice job with the detailing. Like, I don't know if they're supposed to be scratched like that, but it kind of fits probably because the rest of the cars are okay so it has like even like the ri <laughs> rivet marks where you would put the body panels back on which if you've ever been around any type of like steel body stock car or short track car they are everywhere they're riveted everywhere even on the nascar i own it has some body rivets like that so this is a cool really cool casting and vitusky is after brendan vitusky the hot wheels designer because he i'm sure he probably um designed the deco like the deco on it Fatusky. cool i like that casting it looks mean that's it still looks good and the circle trucker fits in great with this one too so next up fast gassing um this is the dirt track water truck so it has little mud spots on it too it's chrome it's very fantasy but that looks like the front of a ford or chevy's truck from the 50s so it does have that like real truck influence now i believe when this first came out it was a dual axle back in the back and i think they've changed it does it have a date on it let's see 
Yeah, so 15 is when it originally came out with the dual axle. I believe and then 18 was the redesign. Um, so that's why there's two dates on the base. But um, if you're familiar with dirt track racing, they usually water down the track to keep the dust down. Um, you'll see that if you watch any uh, like short track, dirt track racing, or if you watch any of the Eldora races or even the Bristol dirt track, they kind of do that too, I think. Um, I, they might use a little bit different dirt there. I don't know. But this is cool that they put that and the water truck graphics look nice too. So those stacks are huge. Nice. Okay. All right. Next up, the Buick Grand National. Now this is the older Grand National. They also have the GNX, which is the highest tier version of the Grand National, or it's probably a standalone version. Um, I can't remember if it was like a an actual like Grand National GNX or if it was just a GNX. But this casting used to have the lift off front end which I always thought was odd because Grand Nationals really aren't known for having like lift off front ends. So you can still kind of tell that um, from the body lines. If you have this older casting, you'll know. Um, and it was kind of cool, but this one is, isn't is shaped anywhere as like accurately as the GNX is. So, um, but either way, this looks cool in like a dirt track style paint job because you will probably never ever see in your life an actual grand national racing in a dirt track because they've just become too valuable people collect them it's just not a car that you're going to see you might see a buick regal or even a bt type with a small block swap or something um running around a dirt track but not an actual grand national um but i think that is another hot wheels designer i'm probably blanking i'm blanking on these i don't remember that one either let me know in the comments because I can't remember, but I do like the like fake mud. This does look like a short track, like stock-ish type car. They do have the steel wheels with the color matching chrome um, rim. Uh, oh man, it's got a little scratch on it. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm bummed about it, but it looks like a short track car anyway. So it's definitely better than the RLC cars having scratches on them. But I like this. This looks cool. This is a good, a fun car. It'll be a fun car to play with. So, okay, next up, the 70 Ford Mustang Mach 1. So this came out in what? 98, 99, 2000. Like, it's it's an older casting too. Let's see. 1997. Look at that. This was a 97 first edition or 98. I can't remember. I collect, the first year I collected all the first edition, like all the new models was 1998. So I remember this when it came out was in yellow. And I think this was a good casting. And I think originally this might have been a part of the um, louvered windows, but I, I can't remember all the way. But I really like this retro Ford style graphics. Like it reminds me of a lot of the vintage Fords that race in stock cars, circle tracks of the day. I do like that. It has a good paint job. It's got the tack sticking out of the hood. It's got the shaker hood scoop, the retro slotted wheels, which I think looks so good on any car. Like that just brings the quality of this casting up in my opinion. But um, this casting has always sat high. I, th I think it's realistic looking, but it's, it's, it's very high. Like, and that's kind of like, to me, that's more of like a, like a drag setting than stock car or circle track setting, but it works like a, a jacked up front end or rear end with that like rake. It works for circle track more so drag, but it works either way. Okay, lastly, we have maximum leeway. And I like this because this is a like circle track car that you would see like one of our local tracks here in Ohio is Killcare um, and Xenia. And they used to race these cars on Friday and Saturdays, but I don't know if they've done it for a long time. Um, but these are like modified chassis that usually have like just like a tube chassis underneath and then the body um, is attached with rivets just like before like on the what was it the z28 that had like the the fake rivets this actually has rivet dots cast into the plastic it's got the leeway on it because uh leeway chang i think is his name i don't want to mess it up um i think he either designed this casting or delivery probably the casting in general um but this one has a lot of fantasy colors to it but a lot of these cars when you go to short tracks do have very bright colors and i really like like the fake wheel or the tire um, donuts on the side from like bumping and racing. It's pretty cool. I like that. A lot of like I have a bunch of NASCARs that have similar like race race used paint jobs, which is cool. But this looks pretty realistic. I know it's not a licensed casting, but it looks like this looks like a short track car straight up. Rad. I like it. Ooh. 
We're gonna roll it here in the in the camera. Cool. All right, last up, the Batmobile set. So let me move a couple of these, get out of the way here. So I collect the 66 Batmobile. I have like, I did a video of that one um, six scale car that I bought. I really like this casting. Um, but probably the stunner in this set is the 49 Mercury with the Batgirl. Um, I like that they did two different color wheels too, which is not something you see usually on the older cars and the license stuff like this. So let's go ahead and bust this one open. I thought I was going to have the um, new Fast and the Furious 5-pack to open for this video, but um, my pre-order hasn't shipped yet, but I have a ton of Fast and the Furious cars coming. Um, the Hot Wheels updates, like I ordered the 10-pack. There's like a Walmart-style 10-car set and a 10-pack. Um, I ordered them from Australia, so I have no idea when they're going to get here, but whenever they get here, I will make a video on them. So, Okay, first up, Muscle Bound. I love this casting, um, and Hot Wheels has a lot of love for this casting because I believe they've made it into a monster truck, and it is one of the Mega Bloks cars that you can buy like in a 9 or 10 inch size and put together because it's done very well. It looks super mean. It's a good original casting. It looks like a, some kind of like um, Fast and the Furious muscle car. Like It almost looks like the Ion Motors Thresher from the Spy Racer series from Fast and the Furious, but this casting is good. It looks mean. It looks good in red and yellow. Um, the Robin paint job on it looks pretty good. I mean, for being a only a couple colors, they did a good job on the art. I'm trying to see if it, there it is. It's not too bad. I mean, it's actually fairly detailed for what is a main line. The R for Robin looks really good. Even on this side, it's pretty clear. You have the, I don't like when they put that, like the DC trademark on the actual car because they've done that too um, with the Fast and the Furious and some of the other entertainment releases where it'll say like Universal, right? On the side of the car. And I'm like, bro, that, I don't want that. Like, you know, quit, quit putting that on the car. So, okay. Next up, the 11 Dodge Charger RT. This looks awesome in blue. And this is a nice car. Um, it is not the actual police car version because uh, Hot Wheels has a couple different Dodge Charger police cars. The other one is like a drift police car, which I, I'm not sure why they changed that casting into a police car casting, but this looks pretty good. But the sunroof on a police car is kind of odd, but um, the graphics look okay. Like it says Gotham Police, and it's actually readable. I mean, we're just, I did a video on the Elite 64 Mercedes that cost $30, and some of the tampos weren't even readable on that, but this is. So, Shout out to Hot Wheels for that. Gotham City Police. It looks good. I mean, there's not a lot. It's basically a Charger with a Gotham City paint job, but the car looks pretty good. So, okay. Next up, the 49 Merc is what Hot Wheels calls this. So this is the Batgirl one. It does have the matching or mismatching uh, wheels, black in the front, yellow in the back, which I think look, looks good. The Batgirl art on this, just like the Robin, looks very nice. Very old school comic. It reminds me of the premium car culture series they just did with Batman with like the comic book art on the trucks. Looks very like that. Like this car looks awesome. It really does. We don't get this casting a ton. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the last time we got it was in 2018 or 2019. If I'm remembering right, um, let's check the bottom. Let's see what it says. 2003. So this has been around for 20 years. This is a 20-year-old casting. Um, this one shows its age a little just because it's not as detailed. Um, some of the lines, the grill, it's just not super detailed, but it is supposed to be like a smoothed out hot rod style, that kind of street rod low cut window, nice curves, but it looks good. It looks good without detail either way. And it allowed Hot Wheels to put this sweet Batgirl like tampo on it without having it be like really interrupted by grooves or different vents or anything like that. So very sharp. The tampos on these are excellent. I, I mean, these tampos are honestly better than, than ones I've seen on like RLC cars recently. No joke. Like, really not bad. Stepping it up, Hot Wheels. I like it. Okay. The 66 TV series Batmobile. So, um, in the series, it was gloss black and, like, a satin black. For a while, the cars were actually flocked. Or some of them um, were, like, George Barris did some weird stuff to the Batmobiles during filming and after filming. Um, but they never looked like this. They never had this blue pinstriping. But 
I could see George Barris actually making a version like this because he liked to do that goofy stuff on cars um, and make them less realistic than before. But this doesn't look too bad. It kind of looks like cobwebs a little bit. It fits the vibe of a Batmobile. Um, so I won't complain about it. And I like this casting. I know other people won't because we've already gotten like 50 versions of it, but as long as they're making it, I'm going to buy it because I do like this casting. So overall, it looks pretty good. It does have the classic five spoke wheels on it, the blue window, which it debuted with in 2007. So there's no real big change there. Um, it's had a gray interior before. Um, so the specialty on this one is definitely like the, I would call it like a charcoal metallic. It's a very metallic paint job. It's not actually um, like a, just like a gloss black. You can kind of see there some of the metallic in it. So that's cool. And the blue pinstriping is different than we've got before too and it has the red body lines the car is known for as well so this will make a nice um, addition to my Batmobile collection because I do like that looks pretty mean so nice okay and lastly the bat so this is from I think the first time we saw this was Dark Knight Rises or Dark Knight I can't maybe it is Dark Knight Rises I can't remember I'm so bad with remembering like uh, when you see so many movies and then it, it just all mixes together like same with the fast and the furious but this is an awesome casting so it's been in the main line when did it come out 2012 man that's been a while too all these castings are pretty old surprisingly but this version is nice um this is this metal no these are plastic um, the bottom is plastic, which I always thought this looked like ribs of an actual bat, like when it stretches out, which is kind of cool. Um, this part is metal and it is like a satin black. These are plastic up front, like the guns and the, I guess they're like the turbines for it. I don't know. I don't even know how this flies because it's a fantasy, like it's not real. Um, but the cool thing about this one is the green glass. And I don't know if we've gotten it in green glass like that before, but it looks sick. I really like the green glass. I know, I think I have um, maybe yellow and blue, definitely black. Um, but I believe this is the first time we've gotten like that almost like Slimer green color glass and it looks sick. Awesome. I like this. This is a good version of this. I might have to buy a couple more of these five packs and stash that, stash that one away because it looks good sick okay i just wish it had the stand because this version doesn't have the stand so you just kind of just gotta like um, chill it on the table i don't know just gotta kind of gotta sit there where the other versions of this though does have the stand which is nice but it's sick so boom well that was the circle track hot wheel city and Hot Wheels Batman 5-Pack from 2023. So as more 5-Packs come out, I will definitely buy them. I actually have three Matchbox 5-Packs right beside me that I'm be go going to be posting as well right after this. I have to shoot the video on it. So let me know in the comments which car was your favorite from all three 5-Packs and then which 5-Pack in general was your favorite because I like to hear um, your guys' opinion on stuff too. I like this one. I think my favorite car overall is definitely the 66 Batmobile, but I have if I had to pick a second car, I would probably pick the Camaro or the Circle Trucker just because I think this looks so good in the color and they did a good job with it and I like stock car truck stuff. So, cool. Well, thanks for watching. This is Sam 64 Wheels. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Lamely Group, Discord, and whatnot. All the links are down in the description if you want to see more five packs. Um, from 2023 or late 2022 those links will be down in the description as well as well as a bunch more of my diecast unboxing videos which, which i think i've gone over 150 videos now which is pretty cool um so i'm gonna have a lot more stuff coming up soon including those matchbox five packs so be on the lookout hit that subscribe buzzer bell ding 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 you get those alerts so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>